What's up, my fellow Pog enthusiasts? I'm Gabe, Gabriel Angela Pogs, and it's another episode of the Pog Review Show, so welcome! Today is a special episode of the Pog Review Show because we're doing an unboxing, nay, an untubing! I guess you could say it's gonna be tubular? Yeah, you could say that. I, th I think that's what I'm gonna say, tubular, yeah. So we gotta give a special shout out to Chris from Texas for sending us these pogs. He wants us to do an on-screen untubing and see what's happening. So Target, of all places, Target, the, the fancy pantsy Walmart. <laughs> it, it's been selling pogs in stores to people. And you know what? I'm not somebody who celebrates the mass conglomerations uh, taking over America and turning us into some kind of cyberpunk capitalist nightmare, but if Target's gonna sell pogs, uh, t take my free will, please! <laughs> They're called caps, because pogs is pog or pogs is copyrighted and owned, and uh, that's not something I really thought about when I named this show, so uh, don't, uh, don't come at me. They're called retro caps, and I have to say I don't really understand the retro nature of caps because pogs are now, pogs are happening. Things in life revolve around pogs. Everything I do is about pogs, so, you know, and I'm not retro, I'm, I'm with it. But I like this crazy font, it's kind of font that I would like on my tombstone, you know, here lies Gabe and this crazy caps font. Now let's check out what, what we're gonna get in here. We're gonna get 20 pogs, Two metal slammers, this sweet storage tube, uh, and you can find these at retrocaps.com. If I'm gonna keep this tube, which I am, who doesn't keep a tube? Uh, you know, uh, tubes just aren't for pogs anymore, but they're mainly for pogs. I like it, it's got this slimer green, reminds me of uh, some juice I used to drink as a kid. Let's start getting through this plastic. Oh yeah, easy to open, that's it! That's all that's separating me from these pogs. Oh, you gotta do better than that, uh, uh, UCC distributing. Ready? Here comes the grand unpopping of this tube. Oh, oh yeah, that felt good. That felt good, that sounded good. Does that feel good for you, little tube? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> the tube. So when you open this tube, as I just did, uh, and fo please, you should probably follow the steps. So as you saw, I took the plastic off, unpopped it, Board up the contents. Follow those steps and you should probably have a good unpogging time. Uh, oh, okay, so it, it's not, uh, stickers. I'm disappointed. It looks like it's gonna be a guide to the pogs inside here, but also instructions how to play. And you know what? Uh, I'm bummed this not stickers. I was gonna put them all over the place. Considering, uh, the new, new fans of pogs are being born every day, how to play is very important, so you can just follow that. You're probably having a good pog in time. Normally, I try to give the pogs as much time as we can, so we're just gonna look through the pogs really quick and see what we see, okay? We got an eight ball. Eight ball my pocket. That's what this this, this is going. It's like, am I playing pool or am I playing pogs? You're playing pogs. Uh, you got a yin and yang, uh, fire and ice. You, you know, uh, two, two elements that are usually frenemies at best. What do we have here? Look at this guy, he's a skeleton. Uh, he's, a, he's dapper, but is it just me? Is he a little bit angry? You know, he, he seems a bit upset to be dead. I love that. I love any time you see something kind of turn on its head. So you have somebody who's dead, but he's dapper, but he's also angry. But maybe the smile is happy. Maybe he's vindictive. Maybe he was angry, but now he's channeling all that anger into vengeance. Uh, I guess this is Earth, maybe, from the sky. I don't... It's... I like the coloring, but I don't even... What is that? <laughs> Oh, another angry skeleton face. Oh yeah, he's super angry. He kind of looks like the mask Shadow Man would wear in the game Shadow Man 64. Oh, it's Ying Yang, but he's kind of malicious again. Uh, did Tim Burton make this? Uh, if he did, I love it. I love the depth of feel the shadowing gives it with the with the reflection. It makes you feel like maybe this pog is a bit 3D, that if you lie down on the table, it's just continuing on. I, I love that depth of field in a pog. You don't see that too often. Okay, this one is pretty subversive. It, it's a bomb, and he's kind of smirking, but what's that he's got in his hand? He's a match. He lights himself. He's going to blow up, so he's self-destructive, but he's a little bit kooky about it. What a, what attitude. This is something, I mean, goodness. Channeling, channeling all the attitude I feel when I'm in the 90s. Uh, a field of skulls. Uh, creepy. I guess this comes from the DC Cinematic Universe. Eyes! Whoa! Is it my eyes or is it the pog? Surprise, it was the pog! Alright, another skeleton. Don't ask me why, but the Grim Reaper and pogs go together like fire and more fire. 
You know what I mean? They just work. I love it. And he's got like those scary glowy eyes. You don't mess with the Grim Reaper. If, if you know what? I'd like to see though, serious Grim Reaper, hang out with Mr. Dapper Skeleton. And maybe they have like a cop show. He's super serious. Uh, he's from the past and he's British. And you know, they, they don't get along, but they do. So I know what you're thinking. Uh, you've only done like 10 pogs. Uh, 20 pogs come in this. Aren't you gonna keep going? Find out on part two, uh, the next part. We're gonna cut this in half. You know, we're gonna review the first of this tube, and then we're gonna review the second half of this tube in another episode, so we can really give these time to breathe. So, uh, go find part two of our untubing. I've been your host, Gabriel Angela Pogs, and I'll see you, uh, next episode, my Pogarians.